It's no question that alcohol and college go hand in hand, but how much is too much, and how does it ultimately affect the campus culture? The Marist College community weighs in. I know that in pop culture, with all these movies coming out and you know anything in the media, uh, it's perceived to be the cool thing, you know, to go out and, and get obliterated. And that was even the case for me when I was in college. You know, American Pie had just come out, those type of movies, and you watch these movies as a high school kid. And maybe some people think like, wow, that's how I have to do it. Like, that's what's accepted. That's what's not accepted, but expected, should I say. Alcohol has become a crucial aspect of college culture, normalizing risky behaviors such as binge drinking. Testimonials like these contradict what Mayor's administration believes is normal, but coincide perfectly with national data which states that nearly two in three college students engage in binge drinking at least once a month. The underclassmen, I've noticed, tend to drink too much too quick. Um, they want, you know, to feel it sooner. And uh, I guess, you know, not all of them, but some of them uh, overdo it. Underclassmen tendency to overdo it is made clear by the extensive collection of confiscated alcohol in Director of Safety and Security John Gildard's office. Definitely a wake-up call for some of them is when they realize, oh, I can't party all throughout college, I need to actually buckle down. Mm -hmm. Despite academic restraints, it seems as though drinking will remain an active part of the mayor's college culture, perpetuating the normalcy of these types of behaviors for generations to come. Alright, I'm just gonna do one of these. Shot! Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Poughkeepsie, New York, Adriana Cicinelli, LTCC.